Welcome to the latest edition of the Liberal Factor. My show has dramatically changed since my earlier vids. If you're gonna watch that, go ahead. So I'm declaring the Liberal Factor as season two. So I've changed. I've got more experience. I think this is the Liberal Factor deserves to be my second season. Anyway, I'm here to tell you news, history, and information you may or may not know. Depending on the news companies that you listen to and what they want you to hear. Starting with history. 1606. The Godspeed, the Discovery, and Susan Constant leave London and head to Jamestown. 1860. South Carolina succeeds in the Union and starts hmm, the United States Civil War. Good job, South Carolina. And if you look at those states, how many of them are Republican-owned states now? 1946, It's a Wonderful Life premieres. 1967, Jethro Tull, the band, forms. And New... In the news, Af the Af Afghanistan is starting Sesame Street up there. What's huge about that is, Afghanistan used to be run for the past few hundred years by a tyrannical dictator who didn't let any, which didn't let any news come in or out of Afghanistan that attacked their government. Sesame Street won't do that, but Sesame Street will give their citizens insight that they can't get in Afghanistan, which is huge for their, for the First Amendment rights that we take for granted that they don't have. The Iran shoe thrower! Someone in Iran went to the Iranian president's speech and decided that he wanted to throw a, bush, a shoe at him and see if the Iranian president is as good at, at ducking as George W. Bush was back in around 2006-2007 when Iranian threw, two shoe, threw his shoes at George W. Bush George W. Bush took them both, and Secret Service agents gave the thrower a full Nelson, hit his head to the ground, and arrested him. China is threatening to attack South Korea. I don't know what they want to gain from South Korea, but the last time I could think of that China attacks, attacked South Korea... Was back a long time ago in the late 1800s in the Sino Japanese War when the Japanese and the Chinese fought for, for power, of, fought for control over Korea, which was one country at the time. Japan won. Since then, it became its own country and split in two. And a nutball took control of North Korea named Kim Jong il, and then his son, Kim Jong il. And then, his son is looking to take over the empire. Vladimir Putin has a primary challenge in Russia. First time in I, a crap load of years. And it's the owner as Mikhail Bukov. Tell me if I pronounced that wrong. The owner of the New Jersey Nets NBA basketball team. Pakistan attacked NATO trucks that were driving through the area. That could start an international war if Pakistan doesn't have a good reason for that. The American Dream. I'm coming back to that one. Let's see. Orson Welles, Citizen Kane, won another Oscar. And a, and a veteran from the Iraqi war now states that it was a mistake, that we shouldn't be there. I've been saying that for years, now someone's finally agreeing with me. <sighs> Gun and carry on accidentally fired. Why would you carry a gun? And shoot yourself with it. It's like 
Planks. Planks to go Burris. Wide receiver for the previous wide receiver for the New York Giants. Now wide receiver for the New York Jets. He illegally carried a gun to a bar and he shot himself in the foot with it. And he wouldn't let anyone help him out of it. What's the point? Amazon is in deep soup. They released the Kindle Fire and everyone hates it. So don't get a Kindle Fire for the next for the next few months. Okay. The American Dream. That's changed through the years. A few hundred years ago, the American Dream was a wife. This is late 1700s, American Dream. Have a stable job, have a wife, and have over a dozen children. 1800s. Have a wife, have a stable job, and be Caucasian. And have five to six children. 1900s. Be Caucasian, have a wife, have three to four children. 2000s. Be, and back then, landowner, rich Caucasian landowner. Now, Caucasian landowner with a wife and a few kids. The traditional family, well, the American dream family, is a white male, middle-aged white male, and his wife, who are the same age, a boy. They have two children, a boy, who's older, and a girl, who's younger. I am going to link a parody of the American Dream. The American Dream is always to be more successful than your parents. Some people think that's not going to happen. They turn to drugs or alcohol, one of the worst things you could possibly do. I'm going to link to this video a parody of the American Dream called Swagger Wagon. Yes, I said Swagger Wagon. Watch it. It's hilarious. You'll laugh here. Well, you'll laugh so loud. You you laugh so hard. You might fall out of your seat. And yes, it also used to devil for a car commercial. That's it. Wait, hold the phone. Weird head revolution elections. First in command. Weird liberal head crushes the right in which is Keith Oberman. Second in command, new liberal head, four to three, over the Mikey Riley. Third in command, R. W. Wiley, four votes to none, no write-in. Normal seats. Red Army Soldier, nineteen thirty-nine, A.K.A. Loki, and Max Communist. Sorry, Doctor F. J. K. And I would like to say it to Mikey Riley, but I'm really not sorry that he lost. I voted for you, FJK. I really did. Thank you for watching. Sorry, this is long too. This is longer than normal. I will promise to be more active in the Weird Head Rev. Whenever the Liberal Head enters a meeting, I will enter a meeting. I'll try to make my videos more frequent, but I can't say for sure until after Christmas. Thank you for watching. If I don't make one before Christmas, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, happy Kwanzaa, and a happy Hanukkah to you, to all, to your family, and to your kin. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We bring good tidings to you and your kin. And that's all I know. So, goodbye for now.